hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in this video we are going to resume our discussion on uh, control systems so we have discussed about time response analysis or time domain analysis of uh, systems zero order first order second order systems and uh, also we discussed the basic time response parameters that are involved uh, such as the time response specifications such as uh, the rise time, uh, peak time, delay time, settling time, peak overshoot all of that we have discussed. So in the next series of videos we will be discussing some questions some problems on time response parameters or time domain analysis of systems. So zero order and first order systems they are a little bit you know simple uh, so mostly the questions that appear they are from second order systems with step input okay so we'll be discussing some questions uh, first we'll start with simple ones then we'll go to a little bit uh, complex complicated questions so before watching this video please watch all the videos related to time domain analysis okay by clicking on the control systems playlist there will find all the videos okay so here uh, it is the first question where it has been given that a second order system is subjected to a step input and uh, the values of damping ratio zeta is equal to 0 0.5 and the natural frequency the undamped natural frequency omega n is equal to 6 radians per second we have been asked to find out the rise time peak time settling time and peak overshoot okay so we know that the basic format of uh, a control system which is expressed as the forward path transfer function then the feedback path transfer function okay the output and input CS and RS respectively and this and uh, mostly for second order systems here HS is equal to 1 unit feedback and uh, this closed loop transfer function we have already discussed these things but just to you know uh, have a quick recall for a second order system it is expressed as k omega n square by s square plus 2 jitta omega n s plus omega n square here jitta is the damping ratio omega n is the undamped natural frequency k is the constant but in most of the cases it will be equal to 1 but uh, according to the system it will be expressed and from these values the various parameters such as uh, rise time peak time uh, in some cases delay time is also it has to be calculated settling time uh, peak overshoot all these values it has to be determined they are all dependent on damping ratio uh, and undamped natural frequency either directly or indirectly okay so i have explained in separately you know in separate videos about rise time peak time settling time peak overshoot so please watch those videos also so here first we have to determine the parameter called as rise time this so rise time the formula for that is equal to 
pi minus phi by omega d where omega d is equal to omega n the root over of 1 minus zeta square okay this this okay now here we have to first determine phi and this angle is obtained from a right angle triangle by drawing a right angle triangle where this angle is equal to phi this is zeta omega n this is omega d which is equal to omega n into root over of 1 minus zeta square and this is omega n okay this is a right angle triangle so here tan phi is equal to omega n into root over of 1 minus zeta square by zeta omega n omega n omega n get cancelled so it is simply root over of 1 minus zeta square by zeta or phi is equal to tan inverse of root over of 1 minus zeta square by zeta so here if we put the value of zeta here it will be tan inverse of root over of 1 minus 0 0.5 square by 0 0.5 so simply uh, put the values you can use a calculator so if we put the values we are getting the result as it is uh, let us put the values 1 root of 1 minus 0.5 square it is coming tan inverse of root 3 which is equal to 60 degrees okay so here we calculated phi is equal to 60 degrees now here there is a problem we cannot put this value of phi here why because here it is mentioned it is the formula is in terms of radians pi radians it is not 180 degree it is pi radians so we have to convert this phi equals to 60 degree into radian so we know that pi is equal to 180 degree okay pi radian is equal to 180 degree that implies 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian so here 60 degree will be simply pi by 180 into 60 radian which is equal to pi by 3 so it is here pi by 3 okay that is the value pi is equal to 3.14 that value so now we have got all the values simply we have to put the values and get the result so here rise time tr is equal to pi minus pi by 3 by omega n which is equal to 6 into root over of 1 minus zeta square okay so now we'll put the value so it is coming around let's calculate simply you can directly put the value pi is equal to 3.14 pi by 3 3.14 by 3 so it is coming around it is coming around 0 0.403 seconds okay this is the value of rise time okay so the value of rise time we have calculated next is peak time okay peak time
the formula for peak time is pi by omega d okay pi by omega d so here simply we'll substitute it is omega n into root over of 1 minus zeta square so it will be 3.14 divided by 6 into root over of 1 minus 0 0.5 square we'll put the value and uh, the result is coming around 0 0.604 seconds this this is the value of peak time okay so we have got peak peak time next is settling time okay so all the definitions of uh, these parameters we have already discussed okay so the basic nature of a time uh, or the uh, the output curve of a second order system when it is subjected to a step input we have already discussed okay so what is uh, the definition of settling time what is the definition of rise time all that we have covered okay so we know that uh, rise time is the time taken for the output response to go from 0 to 100 percent of the steady state value peak time the time taken to reach the first maximum okay peak of the curve settling time is the time taken to reach two to five percent of the steady state value so there are two values of settling time first for two percent second for five percent okay so for two percent the settling time for two percent of the steady state value that is given by four by jitta omega n so it is four by 0 0.5 into six so it is coming around 1.33 second and the second settling time is for 5 percent and that is given as 3 by jitta omega n which is 3 by 0 0.5 into 6 which will be 3 by 3 which is equal to 1 second okay this settling time for both 2% and 5% it has been calculated so another important thing when it is only mentioned settling time you calculate both the values for 2% and 5% and when it is specifically mentioned that you have to find out the settling time for 2% or for 5% you can uh, do for the specific uh, settling time but here nothing has been mentioned so I calculated both the values okay for 2% and for 5% next is the first peak overshoot okay in percentage peak overshoot this so this peak overshoot in terms of percentage is given by e to the power minus pi jitta by root over of 1 minus jitta square into 100 ok so here simply we have to put the value e to the power minus pi into 0 0.5 by root over of 1 minus 0 0.5 square into 100 so it is coming around if you put the value we are getting Uh, 0 0.1633 into 100 so it is coming around 16.33 percent okay that is the peak overshoot in terms of percentage okay so here we have determined all the time response parameters which were asked first the rise time so for that it is very important most of the students they make the mistake that the 
put the value of 60 here that is wrong because here this pi it is in terms of radians so you have to convert this angle phi which is in 60 in terms of degrees into radians okay using this formula then you have to it is the remaining things are just put the formula get the answer so please be careful about how you put the values uh, that it is very you know uh, easy to make calculation errors uh, when you put the values in the calculator so please be careful about that so, so remaining things are just putting the values getting the answer so you have to remember these uh, these formulas okay so only put the value get the answer it is all about that and uh, you have to remember these formulas okay so we have calculated rise time peak time settling time and peak overshoot value okay